Steve Ehrlich, just given the keynote at the Social Media in Recruitment 2012. It's gone down a storm. Um, Steve, you did nearly 180 slides in an hour. Um, I'm going to ask you to just see if you can roll that down into just a few um, lines in terms of, you know, kind of that presentation for recruitment, uh, the recruitment audience and recruiters. Um, how would you review what you've just said? Sure. Uh, first of all, what I'd say is that social media is just one piece of the overarching strategy. So I think the interconnected nature of social media, employer brand, mobile, and video in particular, the idea of showing it, not just telling it, are things that, that organizations need to take away with them first and foremost. I think the next piece is that we need to think not about having a presence, but what we're really going to do with it. How do we create compelling content um, that gives people a reason to engage with us and a place to go? Um, I think the next piece is that organizations have to open conduits for those conversations and they have to empower their audiences to uh, share that knowledge that they have of the internal culture. They have to empower their audiences to use the tools. Um, too often organizations look at it and they say, the glass is uh, half empty. You know, we can't do this, we can't do that. And in reality, they should be flipping it and saying, we should do these things, let's seize the opportunities available to us. So I think that's the overarching message, which is, it doesn't matter if it's Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest or YouTube or Yammer or LinkedIn. It's having the compelling reason for an audience to engage with you. There's so much content, you have to arrest their attention and then give them a reason to follow your path. And you, you talked about return on investment and said that you, you brought in this concept of um, return on influence as being a more useful way of looking at um, the return. So what exactly does that look like? Well, I think we have to take a, a multi phased approach to it. Return on investment is still important in terms of what we're getting, but I think too often organizations don't set the success metrics at the outset, so they don't know how to measure that. And then I think there's an intangible that comes with this idea of influence, which is who are we trying to reach and what do we want them to do, and how do we influence them to do that? So are we measuring sentiment, you know, positive comments, negative comments, um, is it the numbers of likes, is it the sharing that takes place, whether it's a retweet or a, a Facebook um, you know, share. Um, we need to think about the things that drive value for us in an aggregated fashion. So brand lift is important and if we think about getting a network of people that work for us and know us and trust us to like things and share things, that carries much more credibility with the audience than if we do it ourselves. So how do we influence those people? Measurement of it is still up in the air a little bit, but it's the thinking that we have to pursue. Steve Ehrlich, thanks very much. Thanks for having me.